Oh, oh, that's great. Looks like we're in good shape. Got the images. Um, typical paint program, Corel Draw or, or Photoshop. So I've got all the images uh, that we that could go on the um, on the cow stress ball. We're gonna we're gonna transfer them on the back here, so we can we can scoot over to the to the program and just see how how it's going to look on the back of the cow. So it's, it's a black it's a black background here. So. We want to see how any one of these images, the, the moon, the cheese, um, the earth, the, the burgers, Ferrari, um, we want to see how the images are going to look on the back of the, of the stress cow because it's got a black background. If it, had a, if it had a white background, that's how the images would look or could say a yellow background. So I think we're in good shape. The, the black background looks just fine. Um, so close that preview and well, we can go to print. So I've got the paper here. Just transfer paper. I'm just gonna put it in the printer. Get it, get it nice, nice and positioned and prepared. I'm having to do this one-handed but should manage and uh, okay we're ready and I'm just going to push print so I'm gonna get that printed up just move over to the back here Wow. Wow. That's awesome. See the images here. Now you have to be careful not to touch the 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 ink in any way because it was it will smudge. It still it's, it's comes fresh out of the of the printer. So what we have to do to kind of pre-prepare the the ink and make it a bit more workable because we're, we're going to have to cut these out is we're just going to fuse it and you can use a hairdryer or a, this is a um, a heat gun that I have you can get at any typical hardware store and we're just going to fuse the ink that's on the paper so and notice the color changing um, with the ink so I'm just going to get a little closer and just notice when I turn on the heat how the color changes Light color So all these guys are fused onto the paper, just give this out the way, and the paper is a bit more workable now. Now we still don't want to be touching the actual images because the, um, the ink will smudge, but it's, it's just that little bit more workable. So because I'm working with one hand here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put the phone down and I'm going to cut out the images that um, we can transfer onto the, onto the cow. So I'm, Maybe I'll just cut out one of each image, and we've got the, we've got the, an image of the moon here. We've got the cheese. We've got the, the earth. We've got the, um, the burger, Ferrari logo. Logo. We've got the cash, and we've got SpongeBob here, and we've got the baby. So I'm going to cut out one of each, and um, I'll be back. Okay, so I've cut each of these, each of these, one of each of the images out from here 
Now, if, if they were more uniform, you could probably get away with using one of those um, guillotine cutters, but I've just used the scissors to go to go around and, and cut each one out. So each of these guys are are ready to use and transfer onto our onto our stress ball. I'm just going to bring them over. Okay, so we're going to transfer another image to so cow and we've got a side of the cow available here got the silicon pad heating up on the hot plate hot plate preheated to and running at 230 degrees now notice what I've done here with the silicon pad I've turned it on its side because you want the, um, the flat surface to match the the surface of the of the cow that we're going to be printing on now I'm going to pre-prepare the surface by applying activator that's in this pot which is a chemical composition that works really well with the inks and I just brush brush the surface lightly not even a not even the level of a we can't really call it a film level but just just a spritz really of activator and I'm taking um, an image here taking the burger image and I'm gonna place that ever so lightly position that onto the cow okay um, when working with the images you have to be careful not to not to kind of pre-rub them in any way because that would smudge smudge the the image so just position the image there and silicon pad should be should be ready now and I'm going to take that off and I want to I want to sit that as squarely as I can onto the back of the of the paper so here goes nice and hot now just sit that onto the so it reaches the, the paper and I want the the pressure to be as uniform as possible because you want that uniform heat transfer so I'm going to scoot over with the silicon pad to the hot plate again and another six seconds just apply that pressure once more to the side of the cow here okay Take that off. Put the silicon pad down. Oh. Okay. I'm going to let this paper cool. Just give it a few, few seconds to cool. see what we got we've got a burger transferred onto our onto our cow how's that so just to give it that that finish What we can do is get the heat pad and just dab it on the on the image slightly. It just gives it that nice gets into the grain of the of the stress ball. Awesome.